Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and today Ranch Road is back on the channel and today we are featuring the Walker. This is also the March giveaway video. So we're gonna be giving away a pair of Walkers or the Fayette if one of you women happen to win. So what are we waiting for? Let's get into it. I remember talking with Sarah Ford when we did the video for the Capistrano that they were thinking about changing the box, but they haven't changed the box and I'm really happy that they haven't changed the box because Sarah Ford has a lot of history in this picture. I believe her grandfather who inspired her to make boots is this man right here. So I'm really happy that Sarah Ford has stayed with her roots. Now let's get these boots out of here. Again, they are also <laughs> still rolling with the cloth bags for the boots as well. Let's get these out. Oh man, they're so beautiful. Yes, love it. This is a little card says, uh, thank you for purchasing what we believe is one of the finest pair of boots you will own. Certainly looks like it, that's for sure. The boots are handcrafted in Southern Spain by generations of artisans with nothing less than premium materials and crafting methods. You can just smell quality when you open up a pair of great boots. Just that pure leather scent fills the room. You gotta love it. This is the Walker men's boot. The female model is just like this, except they're calling it the Fayette. Now this is Spanish calfskin. The exterior of this boot and also the leather lining. Oh my gosh. And it is just as soft as it was in the Cavastrano. If you don't remember, the Cavastrano got my award for the softest leather lining of all the boots that I tried in 2019. And this is just as soft. But let's start on the bottom first and then work our way up. I got excited, okay? So we have a leather outsole. We also have lemon wood pegs down here and a single stitched Goodyear welt about three quarters of the way around. We also have a stacked leather heel with a rubber heel cap. Under here, we also have a cork foot bed as well, which is gonna be great for forming to your foot. And you don't get that with insoles or anything else. So the fact that they're using cork in here is definitely a plus in my book. These are also Snip toe boots. <laughs> I love snip toe. A very bare vamp here. So there is no toe medallion, no stitching here. It's a very classic look. But one thing that I really like is the design in the shaft. Now, this is cording. This is a design inspired by Frank. Stella, specifically his barn door painting. And it just has this really nice classic Western style that just fits perfectly with this boot. Also really wide strips here, instead of there being a, a piping down along the sides here, I like how wide this is and how wide the pole straps are. It is sewed to the shaft all the way up. You could really take hold of these and put this boot on. Like I said, leather lined. Also, the insole is leather as well, just as soft as the lining. Actually, the leather lining goes down about to like right here, it feels like. The majority of it is a leather lining and it is so soft. I think it's time to try this boot on. So this time around, I went with the 10 and a half. When I wore the 11 Capistranos, I noticed that they broke in and stretched out a little bit too much. I'd have to say that it's very similar to the Lucchese 
1883 Mad Dog Goat that I've tried, which is also a 10 and a half for me. It's a little bit stiffer than what I would expect from calf, but I'm sure it will break in and we will find out in this video, which is why I love doing the in-depth tests, guys, because I'm actually able to understand how a boot breaks in. This is a great looking boot. Look at that. Just so I'm gonna get up a little bit closer here. Wow. I love the look of that toe as well. Mmm. Jeez, this is a great looking boot. So be sure to stick around because you are gonna wanna know how you can win a pair of your own Walker or Fayette boots. My first impression is I am over the moon about this Walker boot from Ranch Road Boots. But let's get into the extended test and see what happens. It is Monday and I decided for an extended test I am going to be wearing these Ranch Road boots every single day this week to see how they feel with everyday wear. Now, a lot of people say you're not supposed to wear the same pair of cowboy boots every single day, but I feel like you should be able to do that, especially with a higher end pair that costs more than $400. So we're gonna give this Ranch Road Walker a good test for the entire week. I'm gonna find a good spot to play coffee and music to kick off the week. Good morning, everybody. Jeremiah Craig coming out from the Arnold Arboretum. It is a chilly morning. The coffee's warm. It's gonna be a great day. Busy my speed. I busy my speed. No one goes to hell now. And I busy my speed. Yes, all right. We're doing another giveaway at the end of March. Another Boots and Ballads live stream. In fact, I'm starting the extended test right now for uh, the Ranch Roads, Ranch Road Walker boots. I don't know if you can see. Right out of the box within the first few hours of wear for these Ranch Road Walkers, they're not very comfortable. Now, they are a little bit tight around my toes, but they fit well everywhere else. So I feel like the 11 would probably have been too big for me still. They feel like they'll break in nice though. So. I'm looking forward to seeing how these settle in throughout the rest of the week. All right, so it is Tuesday morning and I am off to a marketing meeting. I do freelance marketing work and content creation. My uh, meeting this morning is with one of my clients who is an author. I am sporting the Ranch Roads again with some khakis this time because I figured it'd be a nice little test to see how these look with some different kinds of pants. And even though my khakis might be a little bit small from too many times through the dryer, I'm feeling like they still work, especially with this pink shirt that I got, or salmon. It's got cactus on it. And I matched it with my cactus Arizona belt buckle as well. So I'm feeling pretty good especially with these boots on. They look great. All right, good meeting. Fun fact, now yesterday I felt like they were a little bit stiff, but man, have they softened up today. That Spanish leather, it breaks in fast. Day three with the Ranch Road Walkers, and I am going to an open mic night. My band recently disbanded, so I am in the process of sort of getting into new networks and I'm checking out a new open mic night with the walkers. So let's see how it goes. Now, you catch the news and I'll catch a route one bus. We'll see who catches it worse. All the true stories are sleeping beneath the trucks and laying blind to the purse. Now, won't be the last. Certainly not the first. You can call me bust out early, John. I frighten cap a 
capital crowds who sing capital songs. Day four with the Ranch Road Walker boots, and I am really impressed with how these are broken in. They are the most comfortable today that they have been this entire time. So sure, they are not comfortable out of the box, but give it a few days and they loosen up and settle in really nice. Today, I am in Boston and I am hunting down a Frank Stella mural here in Boston because the design on the shaft of this boot was inspired by Frank Stella. So I'm going to let Sarah Ford take away where that inspiration came from the last time I talked to her. Roll the clip. I just like to keep it clean and simple. And I think like Art Deco is cool. Like I like, you know, inspired by that. So this like, you know, the super more geometric instead of uh, floral, we do some floral pattern, but like designs that are like, have been around since the 20s and 30s really appeal to me. Check it out. There it is right behind me, the Frank Stella mural. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was. I'm really happy that I got to see something else by Frank Stella after reading that the design of the shaft in these boots was inspired by him as well. What do you guys think? Do you like this one better or the one that is in this boot? Let me know down in the comments. I think I like the one that is in this boot. It's simple. That one's might be just a little bit too much color for me, but I still really like it a lot. Really happy that I got to experience that while I was in the city today. I love the story and inspiration behind the design in these boots. Way to go, Ranch Road. The end of the fifth day was pretty much the same as the rest of the week. Went for walks with the dog, went around the city, just went about my normal day. Nothing crazy extra to report. So now we're going to get into my final thoughts about the Ranch Road Walker boot. To start with, I wanna say that this was probably not the right size for me. But then again, it is difficult to find the right size with Ranch Road boots, in my experience, just because they don't have different widths. So they only have one width that would be equal to a D width. And with my experience from the Capistrano, the 11D or just the 11 was a little bit big and ended up breaking in a little bit sloppy. So like I said, I wanted to try a size lower. My true size is a 12B, so I have a narrow foot. However, the width is perfect for me. I love the way that it fits around the widest part of my foot, but it just comes to a taper a little bit too soon and stepping it up to that 11 size is going to make the boot a little bit wider because width in boots is proportional to the size of it. I would be afraid that that would be just a little bit too much, especially because there's no toe stitching, no toe bug. When you have a boot with stitching on the toe, that is intended to help guide the way the boot bends, which in turn makes the boot look better as it breaks in. It's a lot more forgiving. Boots like this that don't have stitching on the toe at all are not forgiving at all. So you have to have a well-fitting boot in order for it to look good as it breaks in. So this is partly my problem because I have a strange size foot, but it's also on Ranch Road a little bit to offer different sizes so that we can find the perfect fitting boot for us. Sure, we could size up or size down, but that changes the width. And that's what I would be afraid of in this boot. Like I said, it's just the perfect width right now as it is. Another fitting issue that you might have that I didn't run into is that the opening of this boot is very narrow. You might have trouble fitting your calf into this boot. I had no problem because I'm a skinny dude. I fit in here great. In fact, I preferred the more narrow shaft because dress pants go over it better. It's just a more versatile look that go with a lot more different pants styles. Other than the fitting problem that you might have with the Walker, I would have to say that this is a really nice boot. The leather, like I said, was stiffer than I thought, but man, did it break in fast. 
It is so soft and so supple now. The design in the shaft just screams uniqueness. I love the inspiration behind it with the Frank Stella painting and it's all cording, like it is sturdy. It is great. So it is a beautiful boot too, the toe shape. This is a spectacular looking boot. The outsole though is just a little bit thinner than what you might see on some other models. The outsole just looks super crisp and sleek. There's just not as much leather here as there is on some other boots. If you look at this, you got about a quarter of an inch of leather if you include the welt. Now, if you look at the same size boulet, this is a 10 and a half boulet boot. Here you have three eighths inches of leather on the outsole. So it is about eighth of an inch less leather than what you would usually get on a leather outsole boot, which makes me think that this is probably a good candidate for those soul savers. So if you wanted to take this to a cobbler or even do it yourself to put on a patch of rubber to help maintain the life of this outsole. The leather lining is still great. That's one of the things that I love about Ranch Road is just how luxurious it feels on the inside. Okay, so in summary, you might have a little bit of sizing issues with this boot. You also might not be able to fit your calf muscle into this boot as well, depending on your body type. And you also might want to put a sole saver on this leather outsole. But other than that, I really love the leather feel. It broke in incredibly. Love the personality of the Frank Stella design on the shaft here and the leather lining is spectacular. Whew, all right. So let's get into the details for the giveaway now. Yes, huge thanks to Ranch Road Boots for partnering with me for the March giveaway. To enter, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right here and fill out the form at the link in the description right down below there. And then when you get there, you will be asked whether or not you want to join Ranch Road's email newsletter list as well. So what are you waiting for? Definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. If you already have, you got nothing to worry about. All you got to do is fill out the form at the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching today. Definitely let me know what you think of these Walker boots by Ranch Road Boots down in the comments. Thank you for watching today and I will see you guys next time. Peace. I'm a walker down that ranch road. I'm a walker looking so sleek and so bold. I'm a walker down that ranch road today. Yes, and you can be too if you enter the giveaway. All right now, thank you so much for watching today. I'll see you next time. Hit that link in the description for your chance to win a pair for yourself. Yeah.